In this video, I'm going to learn how to solve problems involving exponential functions or exponential equations in Cartesian scientific calculator. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee that you'll be able to solve problems involving exponential functions or exponential equations in Cartesian scientific calculator, especially with Cartesian FSCD50 graphical calculator in seconds from multiple choice questions. So, ensure it takes the very end of this video. Having done this, let's get the Cartesian calculator now going to the details of the video. Okay, so this is class A FS CG50 graphical calculator. Now, the very first thing you have to do is to reset the calculator. The sense of resetting the calculator is to wipe out the very previous value you might have stored on the calculator. To quickly reset it, all you have to do is navigate to system using this navigation button. When you get here, you press execute. Execute for this calculator stands for equal to. Okay, when you get here, you press F5 for reset, then F6 for next page. When you get a press F2 to initialize all, then F1, and it will begin to initialize all as indicated here. Okay, this now press is it. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is be to put our calculator in equation mode. To do that, you navigate to equation. Okay, so this is equation, press is equal Now we're going to make use of this equation solver, F3. Alright, so let's do equation 1. We have this function, it says 9 to the power of x times this is the power of x equals 12. So let's input the function exactly as we have it. So it's going to be 9 to the power of x. We make it the power function after x, after this possible x will come out. We come down times this thing, the power of x, after x. Okay, come down. Equal to be how you call the press shift and this button 12. That's what press the put. Now, when you get here, you have to assign your x a value. Now, I recommend it because I've practiced with you for a very long time now and I've not found any error with it. Okay, now in a situation where you will first to give you the result of the answer, you can make use of one for it. But for these functions we have here in this video, we're going to work with zero. We will assign our x zero. Alright, so let's assign x to be 0 here. And that's the press is a quit. Press is a quit again. So the answer is 1. S is 0 0.5 or 1 over 2. That's the question 1. Now let's solve question 2. Let's delete everything here. Press is this press. Then F2. Delete. Okay, so question 2 says 5x to the power 2 over 3 equals 80. So let's input the function. We have it to be 5x upper x. The power is in fraction, okay, 2 over 3, right, equal to shift this button, 80, right, press is equal to, now let's assign x to the 0, then the press is equal to, so the answer is what, 64, x is 64, it's as simple as that, guys. Now, let's help you send the way the leads is it. Okay. So the question says, we have it in bracket x plus 3 to the power 4 by 3 plus 16. So, let's include the function. So, we have it is not in bracket x after x plus 3 bracket close to the power. Okay. 4 over 3. Okay, equals 16. That's a press it includes. Now assign your x to be 0. That's a press it includes. It includes again. So the answer is what 5 or x is 5. It's as simple as that, guys. So lastly, for question 4, this delete everything here. F1. So we have it to be less into the function. 8 to the power. After x minus 3, okay, equals with this button in fraction 32 to the power x after x, okay, plus 2 over 4 to the power minus x. And that's all. Now, let's press the good.
assign your x to 0, press your twist, press your twist again, so the answer is what? Minus 4.75, so that's the answer to this question, for it's as simple as that guys, so this is basically how you can solve problems involving exponential functions, so exponential equations with the Casio, and if you can play the social with this Casio face, CD50 graphical calculator, I hope you learned something interesting from this video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button now. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Like, share, comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what you learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, please leave your question in the comment section below. And I'm sure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you receive the calculator once you're done to wipe out the values you are work with. You do that test menu, right? Go to the system. As usual, then F5, F6, F6, next page, F2, and F1, and it will begin to initialize all. That's it for this class, guys. Press visit. Okay, see you in my subsequent video. Okay.